Hey guys! Okay, so I'm home now. I'm trying to get all these items up for you guys to show. This is the um, second, I guess, and last part of the hauling. Um, and yeah, I just want to, I got home, I got all my crap, all my birthday things, everything, and I just want to put everything away and clean up. And I'm like, let me finish, let me do this last part so, yeah, I can put everything away and not forget about anything. And I left something on the bed. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty quickly. Um, the first thing, I actually went to Rite Aid today. Um, Rite Aid has 40% off all of Maybelline cosmetics, 40% off all Neutrogena cosmetics. If I'm not mistaken, Revlon, Revlon or L'Oreal, one of them, buy one. It's Revlon. Buy one, get one half off. Got some good deals going on. Went in Wilds, buy one, get one half off. But anyway, I got this Clinical Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. Um, and it's like on the pimples. It's, hold on, y'all. For your pimples and stuff, um, like a spot treatment. It was on sale for five bucks. So I got the Clinical Advantage one. I don't think I've had a spot acne treatment before don't know. Then I wanted to try this Maybelline Master Glaze. The blush sticks have never tried them. I got the next to the darkest and this is in Make a Mauve. And um, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go pretty quick because I'm tired. Um, oh! Dropped my phone y'all. Dropped it in the basket of goodies. My bad. Okay. Also, I never tried the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments. The loose ones, again, I'm not a fan of loose shadow because before, like, I'm really messy with it. But I feel like as I'm maturing and everything, you know, why not try them? And they're 40% off. So I got all these for about $3. Um, oop. So they have a sifter in them as well. Follow me on Instagram. I posted swatches of these. And I'm not going to post, I'm not going to swatch them again. But I put a post up. Of the four colors. This is potent purple. I just grabbed a couple, would look interesting. Uh, black mystery, brash blue, and this one was my favorite name and is actually my favorite color. It is improper copper. Go check out the swatches on my Instagram, Miss Candy Land. So, there you go. So, um, I got this blush. This stuff is a mixture of Sephora, Walmart, Target. It's been so long, I can't remember. But anyway, Black Radiance Big Blush. Never tried any of their big blushes before. I wore this in my Get Ready With Me for my birthday party. And this is in Warm Berry. I don't like all this extra packaging now. Like, whatever. So, I went to Sephora. And, um, because, to get my birthday gift. And the birthday gift was this Makeup Forever little set and it is a mascara and a lipstick. The lipstick is in Rouge. It's a great lipstick for like any skin tone. That Rouge. And this is the Smoky Extravagant Mascara and I like the brush. Watch this. It's a big big Christmas tree brush. Alright, so while we were in there, um, I sampled, I got a sample of the Murad Oil Control Mattifier, and I do like that, because the girl, the lady tried that Bare Minerals Foundation on my face, and she used that Oil Control Mattifier, and I do like it, but it's like $45. Mm. Um, and some moisturizer that I don't think I asked for. But anyway, I went to the Sephora in JCPenney. And if you applied for a JCPenney card, whether you were accepted or denied, you she gave you a bag full of samples. So, really quickly, I got a sample of Sephora Brush It Off Wipes, some fragrances, this Escada fragrance sample, um, a Sephora Instant Nail Polish Remover Wipe, Versace fragrance samples. Um, and then, these four samples, she asked our skin type, was like, do you have oily or whatever skin? And she put them, they put things like that in the bag, and I got this Murad Acne Spot Fast Fix. Kind of like the cleaning cure, like an acne spot thing, but Murad, um, supposed to be really, really good. So, I got this sample of that, and it's a pretty decent size if it's a spot treatment. So, I got that free sample. Then I got a sample of some Algenist Multi-Perfecting Pore corrector gel moisturizer that's a nice size jar and they're full 
um, I got a sample of this Glam Glow Youth Mud Mask. And I got a sample of this Bas Basia, Basia Purifying Cleansing Gel. So, nice little set of samples that mm, can be good, can be good. Oh, and they had this little Sephora bag too. Also at Sephora, what I actually bought, two things. A little rock, I don't know if it's all Sephora's or what, but they are contracts ending at this JCPenney Sephora. And they're moving somewhere else, so... All the Lorac stuff was severely discounted. The foundations, like, when I got there, it was all, like, down to the nitty-gritty. So, like, I'm sure the first day I could have cleaned up. Like, that foundation was, like, the $30-something dollar foundation was $7.99. But I got this Pro Metallic Cream Eyeliner. Um, it was $3.99. Regular retail was $18. Now, Lorac is not itself not being discontinued. They're just not doing it in that Sephora. And this is a... They had like four or five shades. Lorinda got all the shades. I just got one. And you take the top off. There is your product. And then you take the, this. The brush is in here. Turn it around. Snap it down. And I got the shade um, Cobalt. It's a blue. Right? Then I got the Lorac Touch Up To Go pen. I've worn this about two, no, about three times now. I really like it. It's a foundation concealer pen, and this retails for $28. It was $6.99, and what it is, is a clicky up concealer foundation pen. I don't see it as a foundation, but I can see it as the concealer highlighter pen, and I got the shade CF11, and I got, this is not my shade. This is lighter than me, but I was like, maybe I can use it for $6.99. I was like, maybe I can use it for highlight it's perfect. Um, it's not the darker shade they offer, but it's the darker shade that that Sephora had, and it seems to be perfect for being a highlight thing for me. And you just click the pen and you roll. Uh, I went to Target. I guess the stuff is from Target. I got a NYX butter gloss. It was on clearance, and I got the shade in the shade Devil's Food Cake. That's what that looks like. I don't own any butter gloss. I don't think. Okay. Um, I also got the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer in the Tone Adjusting Green. So now I own all of those primers. I also received, received, got this. This was on clearance. The CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like it. It's, it's, it's light, but it, I don't know. Don't feel right for me. But it doesn't have a name, it says a number. Uh, this Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara from Target was on clearance in brownish black. No, it's it's black and brown. That's the color. Try a new mascara. It was on clearance for like $2. And this is a nice natural color if you don't want super, super black mascara. I mean, yeah, black lashes. Alright, I got an e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in... Rosy go round. Um, I got, I don't know. I got two LA colors. I forgot where I got these from. Color Craze nail polishes. <clears throat> um, these colors really spoke to me. They were in a display together. Blue Death. And this nude's really nice. Mink. Next, I got this L'Oreal Magic Lumi. This was at CVS, 50% off the beauty clearance thing. And it is a highlighter illuminator. And this is the deepest shade, Deep. Which is not deep. Hello. It's really not. But this is what it looks like. Okay, I got a Maybelline Color Whisper. Don't know from where. In the shade Faint for Fuchsia. I feel like this is on clearance at CVS somewhere. Oh god, that's an awkward swatch. Wait, wait, there it is. Faint for Fuchsia. Um, what else is in here? I'm gonna try this sample of the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. This was like six bucks. This is like the sample, and I'm gonna compare this to the 
Miracle Blur. And the difference is the Miracle Blur is supposed to blur your pores while this is supposed to actually make them go away, which is impossible. Nothing can do that. But I'm going to compare and contrast and see if the full size of this is cheaper than the Miracle Blur. If I like it, blah, blah, you, you know. Uh, almost done. Got the CoverGirl lipstick in Spellbound. Um, yeah, the CoverGirl was buy one, get one half off at CVS. That's right. So I got this for half off, Spellbound. That's what it looks like. Very pretty color. And I, because I wanted this. This is the True Blend Fix Stick Concealer Stick. And this is in the deepest shade, Deep. I, I've worn this at least five times already. Um, I like it. But, I will say this. This is not a full coverage concealer stick. It is, it's not like match, match my shade. But it's also not super, super, I'm going to put it up. Super, super light where I can call it like really, really highlighting. This is it. This is what it looks like. Because blended out, it looks, it's like your skin but better. It covers enough where it doesn't, but it doesn't look like you have on makeup to cover that under eye. Like, I like it for that. Like, I've worn this just by itself. I didn't set it with a powder. It does last all day. But if you're looking for a full coverage, like, conceal everything, this isn't it. But if you're looking for my skin but better, no makeup makeup, this is definitely the one to use. Now, I like full coverage concealer. Like, I like to be flawless, honey. But when I tried this, I was like, well, it's not, you know, I was like, I'm going to give it a shot. And I just like the way it looked. Like, when those days you don't have on any makeup, maybe some eyeliner, mascara, and a lip balm, and this can be your face product. Like, that's, that's what it is. That's what I wanted to say about it. Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. Um, it is very nice. The bomb.com. Never ran into a Maybelline mascara I didn't like, but this is a good one. This is a really good one. It, it pumps them up. Really good. I don't get the waterproof. I don't buy waterproof mascaras anymore. They're hard. Maybellines, I don't. Hard as hell to get off. Um, Then I got two more sets of things. These were on clearance at Target. These L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliners. Everyone's coming out with like these jelly liquid eyeliners in pencil form kind of like the, the Rimmel Scandal Eyes um, Ulta has a brand and I got these three they're really creamy and the colors are really nice so I got blue really soft I got purple oh see I broke it it's that soft anyway I got purple They can be sharper as well. And this is my favorite. Turquoise is gorgeous. Look at that. And that's smooth, baby. Like butter. Finally, I got the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Set. Um, I had wanted to try this um, for a while since it came out. But at like my Rite Aid CVS, they were like nine bucks a piece. Like, really? Um... I just, I don't know, like for every piece. But when I went to Walmart, they were $6, $5, $5. So, all right, definitely. So, I got the deepest shade in all of them. And, and I got to say a few things since I've worn it. The deepest shades vary a lot. Like this is the deepest in the foundation, 320 Soft Sable, perfect match for me. This is the deepest shade. This is the deepest shade in the powder. And it's like 315 to 320. So like whatever color range, like that's how it works. Which is all right, more like a highlighting powder. And this is the deepest shade in the concealer. I don't know if it's supposed to be light and brightening, but that's the deepest shade in the concealer. I make it work. It's definitely a highlighting concealer. Let's start with this. This is not, again, not a full coverage, but it highlights. Like, I put this on, I put my full coverage concealer, and then I put this on to highlight because that's, yeah. Um... Not bad though for five bucks. I mean, it, you get a lot in the tube, so it does highlight very well. As far as concealing all your imperfections, 
I'm not a fan of liquid concealers. Okay, these two. The foundation, I love it. It goes on smooth. It lasts all day. It can be built to medium, about medium-ish coverage. If you do a, like a full coverage powder with it and concealer, you can get a full coverage look. But it's nice. It's lightweight. And it is, it is a foundation. It's not a BB cream or something like that. It is a foundation. Now, this is the powder. A lot of people were having complaints because they were like, these two together really make you look cakey. This is a powder foundation. I don't know if CoverGirl did that on purpose, but this is not a pressed powder. This is a powder foundation. So when you use these two together, you are essentially putting on two foundations. So I wore this, but I didn't set it with this. I mean, you can with a very, very, very light hand. You can't use as much as you would use as a pressed powder. So that may be the issue with some people. I'd recommend both because I do like the way this sits on my skin, especially in my highlighted areas. But again, these are two foundations. It is like a pretty decent coverage powder. So try this and try this without setting it with this. Like use something light. And if you want to wear this, just put your concealer on and do your whole face with this and let it be your foundation. But both of them together can give you a cakey look because they're essentially two, two medium to full coverage products. Let that marinate. So guys, that is it for the haul in part two. Oh, I got these little gumball machines at Rite Aid on clearance for 74 cent. Y'all know I love gumball machines. And so I gotta buy candy. I don't like gumball though, so I may put it somewhere else. But I gotta buy candy and fill them up. And um, I now have four gumball machines in my room. But yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm trying to think if I remember anything else. I hope I keep running in my room today. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think. If you want to, any suggestions of videos, any products that I have talked about or showed you in these past like three haul videos. Um, as far as like a review or a look with them, because I've been wearing this crap like. You know, I mean, I wear all my crap. But anyway, a look with them or if you want to see a collection of something like all my color tattoos or something like that, let me know and I will definitely do it. Uh, is that it? You'll probably see some couple show and tells because I got a Sephora gift card for my birthday. Didn't use that yet. I got another gift card for my birthday. Didn't use that. So you'll see some show and tells in between videos and everything. But this whole group of stuff that I just showed you part one and two is done. And I wanted to get that out of the way. Thank you all again for watching. I love you, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!